Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach and Santa Monica Beach. I'm going to a location to do a video for you guys. Not a complaint, but I just want to kind of like explain to you how YouTube works. And it always looks so good, my life on YouTube. People say, oh, you're going to meet Pamela Anderson. You go to this place, you go there. What a life you have. Now I want to share with you the problems you have when you do YouTube. And as you can see, whew, I'm in between Santa Monica and Venice. Just to match up one picture, and that's what a lot of people don't understand, the extra mile I go to try to make it a good video. But I have fun doing it in the process, and I'm just walking here right now. It's also a good exercise walking in the sand. And we got a good view. Let me run a little bit here. Woo! That's a cool shot. It's again an overcast day, but the lifeguards are out anyway. It is quite a walk from Venice to Santa Monica. I would say probably 40 minutes walk in my condition. If you're in good shape, probably faster. I think that's where part of the LA River comes out. He's going in with all the wetsuit. The water is freezing cold. Not Pamela Anderson, but really good looking also. Even he likes to sit on lifeguard station number 24. This is where Pammy started her career in 1989 on Baywatch, the show with David Hasselhoff. Is that okay if I film you for a second? And this is where Pammy was sitting all the time when they were shooting. The main lifeguard station is all the way towards Malibu, but uh, oftentimes they shoot it here, right here. And I always have pictures to match it up. You see the red brick building? See the Santa Monica Pier? Pam was sitting right here, putting some nice suntan lotion on her beautiful legs. I love coming here, matching up pictures from famous movies or television shows. I can put some lotion on my arm, not on my leg. I came all the way down here just to match up this picture and I wanted to explain the problems I have with this video I did of Pamela Anderson, but it's a little bit too windy and you will hear the noise all the time. So I gotta go to a different location. Just stay tuned. It's much easier walking back on concrete. Some of the lifeguard towers are dismantled. Uh-oh, there's some action going on. Walking back, you always see something interesting. This is a really cool bus here. Look at this. Old school, nice. The GIV is the VIP. I thought I'm gonna bring you to the headquarters here because it's kind of covered for the wind. It's kind of quiet, so I can tell you what my problem was. Before I do this, I wanna show you where Pamela actually walked around. We're gonna step into her footsteps here. PCH is on the right. This is the Real Rogers State Park. And this is where they shot Baywatch, the original headquarter. And I think I have a picture of David Hasselhoff on skates here. And for the series, they put some showers right here. This is where Pam was taking the shower. Pam was standing right here in front of those wooden planks. Of course, it changed a lot over the 30 years, but it was right here where Hulk Hogan and Pam were sitting. I love matching up those pictures. One picture of David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson here. 
There used to be the staircase going up to the office, but they changed that. Another picture when Pam came down the stairs. When you watch the video, you can see it was exactly this spot. I wonder if Pam ever comes back and checks out the location where she filmed at one time. There's a picture of the whole crew in front of the lifeguard car. Are those still Pam's footprints? Still overcast and kind of cold today. Pammy! Pammy! Hey, what are you duckies doing here? This is the ocean, that's not a lake. Those are ducks. And I think I just found another spot. Right here. CJ Parker. Well, I guess I'm gonna do the video in the car because it's still windy a little bit outside and people walk by all the time. So I think it's much better being in the car here. What I'm about to tell you is not that I'm complaining about stuff, but sometimes it can be really frustrating to do YouTube. And that's something you guys never see the problems we have to deal with. And when I uploaded the video to YouTube, there's a private setting and YouTube checks if it's copyrighted music on there or if there's any violation. And if the video is okay, it shows a green little light. If some problems there's either yellow or red, mine showed green. So I uploaded the video, made it public to everybody to see. And the first day I got 113,000 views, which is insane. And I was like, wow, a lot of people watch this video. Makes me really, really happy to get good views, a lot of views, you know. Everybody says, oh, you're just going for the views. Of course, when you have good views, it makes you feel good. And then what happened at night, I get like a little yellow tag on my video and I'm thinking, what is this? That means YouTube restricted the video. You have to be at least 18 years old to see this Pamela Anderson video. And I was like, why? I didn't understand. Like, I looked through the whole video. I don't think I did anything wrong, but I disputed it right away. And that means a real person is going to watch the whole video over and then they're going to decide if it's still going to be like uh, inappropriate or not. So they decided it was still not appropriate for people under 18 years old. And I have no idea why. So that means the next two days, I only got a thousand views. So that cuts the views a lot because you have to be 18, you have to be registered, you have to be signed into YouTube, and then you still get paid. So that means I don't make any money off my YouTube video from Pamela Anderson anymore. And you guys say, oh, you're just doing this for the money. No, this is my job, you know. I went to Abbott Kinney that day, the day before, and I filmed about five hours walking up and down, filming everything. And then I get there the next day, early in the morning, three hours before anything happened, I spent till 1.32 o'clock there because when she left, I was still there. So I'm spending probably 20 hours not even editing the video. So I'm spending a lot of time and for some reason I have to be paid. Otherwise I cannot do this. I cannot be walking around 20 hours and not making any money. So I'm feeling really kind of like down because they kind of like knocked me down in the video. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to close this video with 114,000 views and I'm going to upload another version. I don't really exactly know why they tell me it was you have to be 18. I, I showed a picture of Pamela. The guy got a picture signed and she's sitting there like this. You can see her breasts maybe a little bit. I don't know if this is the problem. When I went to the art show, they had like a gun there and I said, well, this is... Uh, Look, it's all nice with butterflies, but you cannot show a gun in your video. So that's what I'm guessing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the video one more time and I'm going to upload it because the video is going to be there forever. If I'm not going to make any other money on the other video, what is the purpose of having it out there? Just people looking at it, you know? So you're probably wondering 
or if I wouldn't tell you right now, you would have probably say, or a lot of people say, hey, Mike, we just saw this video. 114,000 people saw the video already, but I'm gonna upload it one more time. I don't expect you to watch it one more time. That would be awesome if you could, because then my algorithm is gonna keep working and I keep making money with this video. I thought it was a great video. I had fun that day. To me, it was really cool. And even this video I'm making right now, I wanted to make it a good video. I couldn't sit at home in my room and then say, tell you exactly what I'm telling you right now. But I wanted to do it a little bit fun, a little bit entertaining. That's why I showed you all the old uh, Baywatch location. I think it would be pretty cool. So I just wanted to mention you. Uh, I, I wanted to mention you. <laughs> I, want, I just wanted to tell you the problem I had with YouTube and um that's it there's some other videos the same thing happened to me the one from holland you know they demonetized that video youtube is weird sometimes you know when you film something and then there's like some background music and youtube doesn't catch it right away they catch it after one day it happens and then you already uploaded everything if it's like a music part you can mute it it's easier than they have they say oh this is like inappropriate you know so there's nothing you can add the video when it's already uploaded so you either stop the whole video and upload a new one and what is really frustrating too is when people always say oh you make so much money on youtube there's people that do videos about me how much money i make and it's like so far from the truth but they want to get the clicks too. You know, if they say that one guy says, oh, German in Venice makes $30,000 a month. I ain't making $30,000 a month, but they just write it. So the people click on it because you want to know some information about the GIV and they're getting all the views and everybody thinks I'm making that much money. I'm not making that much money. I'm not even, a, I don't consider myself a full-time YouTuber yet. I should. I should do videos every single day, bam, 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 but I don't. I try to think what I'm gonna do, try to find places what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna go, so it's gonna be a nice video. I don't wanna just upload just an, a video just to upload a video. So for me, it takes a little time, and I'm still in my store on the weekends. Monday to Friday, I try to film. On the weekends, I'll be in the store, and the story ain't happening either. There's nothing going on. There's no international tourists coming. It is frustrating. But uh, why am I telling you all this? Because uh, I'm concerned. I just want you to know how YouTube works. So it's not complaining. I love doing YouTube. I love to go on locations. What do you think when I did this video just now and I, I found like three new locations I never knew they existed. It makes me feel really good. I love stuff like this. So I think I have enough said. I hope you understand the whole situation. I want to say thank you for supporting the GIV. And that was it on a cloudy day in California. And I'm uploading this video. Tomorrow is going to be the new Pamela Anderson video. And I already filmed two other videos, so you're going to get something to see from the GIV. And I hope I can entertain you. This is the PCH right here. Pacific Coast Highway. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the headquarter at Will Rogers State Park. The original building that was used in Baywatch. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the GIV. Maybe you're going to watch that Pamela Anderson video again, the one where I meet her. That would be awesome. Maybe you can send it to somebody so I can get my views back on. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. What is that beeping noise? Is he pulling backwards? There we go. See you guys later. Tschüssing.